Hello, I'm Stella Roberts, Director of Connectional Ministries of Holston Conference. Thank you for joining us today so that we might all be better prepared for our 2015 Holston Annual Conference session. This year's annual conference will gather under the theme of Engage, See, Know, Serve. We will experience times of teaching, worshiping, and serving that will challenge us to explore what it truly means to be those who are poor in spirit and to be in ministry with the poor in our communities. Along the way, we will also enjoy opportunities for fellowship. We'll elect our lay and clergy delegates to general and jurisdictional conferences, and we'll conduct the business of the annual conference. It promises to be a busy and important time together. So let's get started on our preparation and begin with the basics. You have been receiving annual conference newsletters by email providing you information related to registration and participation opportunities and deadlines. We trust you have found these helpful. They will continue to come to you between now and annual conference, so continue to read them to be fully prepared. The Book of Reports is now available online at ac.holston.org. Remember that web address because it is where you will find numerous resources related to annual conference, ac.holston.org. For those of you who ordered a print copy of the Book of Reports, it will go into the mail the week of May 11th and should be arriving soon if you haven't already received it. We will reference the Book of Reports during this orientation and specific pages within it. You will find those references on the handout sheet that has been distributed for your reference. The first thing to note is that annual conference runs Sunday to Thursday this year. This is to accommodate our business and learning while also accomplishing our election of lay and clergy delegates. Registration this year is again an online process through the conference website. The direct address to remember for registration is acregistration.holston.org. Pre-registration for clergy and lay members of the annual conference is available through May 20th. After May 20th, conference members will register online upon arrival at the conference site. At the registration website, you can register yourself, register your child or children for child care, make a reservation for the missions dinner, and sign up for the 5K run one mile walk to benefit the conference missions offering for children in poverty within Holston Conference. You may choose either to pay online or to mail a check for optional events and child care. If you need child care, pre-registration and prepayment is required. The cost this year will be $20 per child per day on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and $10 per child per evening on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and on Thursday morning. A bagged lunch is available for purchase on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday for $8.50 each day. The lunch must be pre-ordered and prepaid. Parents may also pack a lunch for childcare. Remember, the online pre-registration ends May 20th, so be sure to get that done before May 20th to greatly simplify your check-in process at annual conference. Please note, you will not receive paper registration cards in the mail this year. If you do not pre-register before May 20th, then you will register at a computer terminal when you arrive at Lake Junaluska. Here's an important change. Registration on Sunday will take place at the Foundation for Evangelism. This is the second building on the left as you come through the main entrance at Lake Junaluska. We will be in the Reynolds Conference Center, which is to your left when you enter the building. Those who are staying on the grounds at the lake will still check in for your room at the Bethay Welcome Center next door. Please remember this change. 
Come to the Foundation for Evangelism on Sunday for registration. If you need assistance with online registration, you may call your district administrative assistant or call the conference office toll-free at 866-690-4080. The only additional mailing that will go out before annual conference this year will be to those persons who ordered and paid for a hard copy of the Book of Reports when they registered online prior to April 1st. The deadline for ordering a hard copy of the Book of Reports is now passed, so persons who did not already order a print copy but who wish to have one may simply download the PDF file from the website and print it out. The online copy is already available on the conference website. You may download it at any time. Also, if you will check the website after June 1st, you may download an electronic copy of the worship book as well. When you arrive at Lake Junaluska, having already registered yourself online, you will go to the Foundation for Evangelism and receive a name tag and a book of worship. This year, you will also receive a voting keypad that will be used throughout the conference as we elect lay and clergy delegates to general and jurisdictional conferences. If you are staying on the grounds, you will also go by the Bethay Welcome Center so that you can check into your room. Registration begins this year on Sunday, June 7th at 2 p.m. The lay members of the conference will gather for the laity session at 4 p.m. at Stewart Auditorium. The clergy session will begin at 5 p.m. also at Stewart Auditorium. To help with this transition, we would ask the lay members to exit Stuart as quickly as possible following your session so that the clergy can enter and begin on time. Dinner at the Terrace and Lambeth will begin at 545 on Sunday with evening worship and the opening of annual conference beginning at 730 p.m. Please note that registration will move to the Susan Todd Lounge at Harrell Center beginning on Monday morning. Even if you are only able to attend part of the annual conference, please be sure to come by registration at some point so that your attendance can be recorded. The full schedule for the annual conference session can be found in the Book of Reports on pages 9 to 13 or can be downloaded from the annual conference website in PDF form. A schedule of special events, meals and other gatherings can be found online or on the inside back cover of your book of reports. Please check that schedule to see if you want to participate in any of these events related to our annual conference session. Worship is always a highlight of our time together. Here is what we have on the agenda as our worship schedule. Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Opening worship and Holy Communion with Bishop Taylor preaching and special music provided by Christ Church in Chattanooga. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at 8.30 a.m. Bible study and Holy Communion for all members of the conference. Stephen Defer, pastor at Cokesbury in Knoxville, will lead our Bible study each morning. Monday at 2 p.m., Memorial service with Reverend Gary Grog preaching and music shared by a conference choir. Tuesday at 11.05 a.m. retirement recognition. Tuesday and Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. worship, celebrating the life-changing experiences of those who have been touched by the grace of God through the ministry of the local church. Thursday at 9 a.m ordination, commissioning, and sending forth with Bishop Taylor preaching and the Junaluska singers providing special music. The Board of Laity is coordinating a prayer ministry on behalf of the annual conference this year. Many of your congregations have participated in the preparation of pocket prayer shawls. These will be distributed at registration. A prayer room in the Room of Memories adjacent to the chapel 
will be available from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. They are also looking for persons who would like to be part of a prayer team. Members who commit to this effort will participate in prayer venues, take shifts praying during business sessions, lead corporate prayer, prayer when called upon, be visible and available for intercessory prayer, provide others with prayer resources, and more. In addition to these on-site opportunities, the Board of Laity is issuing a call to prayer for the conference to begin now as we prepare our hearts and our minds. They are also inviting lay and clergy members of the annual conference to solicit prayer partners who will support the annual conference sessions from home. Family, friends, and congregations are invited to serve as a circle of prayer supporting the work support and fellowship of the annual conference session. You will find an opportunity to sign up as part of the prayer team at ac.holston.org. Eric Nofel is coordinating this effort and will provide additional information to those who sign up to serve on the on-site team. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday will begin with Bible study and Holy Communion at 8.30 a.m. in Stewart Auditorium. This is an important and integral part of our time together, not an additional option. Please plan to be in place for this important time of sharing together at the Lord's table, which has proven to be a very meaningful way to prepare ourselves for the day. Our guest preacher for the memorial service will be Reverend Gary Grog. There will also be a conference choir for that service. If you would like to participate, please contact Lori Sluter at the conference office by phone or email lauriesluter at holston.org by June 1st. The two anthems will be Give Me Jesus and I Will Rise. Rehearsals will be on Sunday evening, June 7th, in the chapel at Lake Junaluska, following the evening worship service, and at 1 p.m. immediately preceding the service on Monday at Stewart Auditorium. Dress will be white shirts or blouses and black pants or skirts. No shorts, please. A recording of the two anthems will be sent to you by email upon request. Again, please indicate your willingness to participate and whether you would like to be emailed the anthem recordings by responding to Lori Sluter at lauriesluter at holston.org no later than June 1st. Clergy and lay members of the conference and their spouses are invited to participate. Monday will be a very special day in the life of this year's annual conference. Tammy Pulaski, who will be our guest teacher for the two sessions that day. Dr. Pulaski is the director for the Center for Excellence and a professor of education at Francis Marion University in Florence, South Carolina. Her area of specialization is the effects of poverty on children. Through that work, she has identified ways that the church can break the vicious cycles that keep these young lives from realizing their full potential. From, doc from Dr. Pulaski's inspiration, we will move to practical application of sharing our gifts and talents to be in ministry with the poor around the world and in our communities. On Monday morning, we will send off the trucks with the hands-on kits that have been collected for Zimbabwe and Liberia. The collection dates for these kits are June 3rd and 4th. Check with your district office for specific dates and locations for collections in your area. Every year, the number of kits collected exceeds our expectations. Food, medical and school supplies, and clothing are provided that sustain life for the most vulnerable in our longtime partner ministries around the world. This first week of May, your local church treasurer received an envelope for the annual conference mission offering for children in poverty with Holston Conference and an envelope for the Change for Children offering. The annual conference mission offering for children in poverty will be received on Wednesday night during the evening worship service. Our goal this year is for every congregation to contribute $10 per
per average worship attendee. If we meet that goal, we will have an offering of $685,000. We hope that the monies collected at annual conference will give us a great start and that the giving will continue throughout the coming year. There's a second component to the mission offering this year. Each congregation is also challenged to provide 10 hours of service to address the needs of children in poverty in your community. In particular, you are challenged to connect to your local schools. Find the needs in your neighborhood and give of yourself to bring transformation in the name of Jesus Christ. That is the meaning of our theme, engage, see, know, serve. This challenge is being issued to our congregations now and again carries beyond the annual conference through the coming year. We invite you to watch this video to learn more about the vision for how our offering will be used. You don't have to go far. Every day, children in our communities experience the stresses of poverty. Hungry tummies, sleepy bodies, tired minds, and worries for daily needs face over 78,000 children within the bounds of the Holston Conference every single day. You don't have to go far in Tennessee, Virginia, or Georgia to find children in poverty. So let's go, Holston. Let's see, know, and serve these children through our annual conference missions offering. This year's challenge is for every worship attendee to contribute $10 and 10 hours on behalf of children in poverty in our communities. Our neighbors need our care, our love, and our generosity. We need to engage and to connect with our neighbors so that we may be changed from strangers to friends, bringing out the best in all of us. Just imagine what changes could be made if 68,500 worshipers give $685,000 and hours of service for these children next door. Through your participation in the annual conference missions offering, grants will be made available to local churches in each district as we seek to transform the world in the name of Jesus Christ, one precious child at a time. Thank you, Kingsport District, for all the ways that you are in ministry with children in poverty. I'm David Graves, District Superintendent, and I'm grateful for the ministries in this district, like Backpack Food Ministries, school partnerships, and serving hot meals that demonstrate your commitment to reach out to all of God's children. I'm excited to see how each of our congregations will participate in this year's annual conference mission offering for children and poverty in the Holston Conference and meet the challenge of $10 and 10 hours of service per average worship attendance. For all that you are already doing, thank you. For all that you will imagine on behalf of children and poverty in your home communities, thank you. Let's bring it home. You may send in your offerings now to the Holston Conference office. You may give online now at acoffering.holston.org you may bring your offering to annual conference. And yes, you may continue to give even after annual conference in June. Every penny will go to assist our children, our communities, our neighbors, as we engage one another, as we see and know each other, and as we serve in the name of Jesus. You don't have to go far, so let's go, Holston. Just imagine if we gave 685,000 hours of service on behalf of children in poverty in our communities. What stories we would have to tell. You can read more about the conference offering on page 53 of your book of reports. You will also find on page 54 in your book of reports a graphic that can be downloaded and used by your local church as you set and meet your goals for the offering of your financial gifts and service. The video you have just seen and bulletin inserts are available for your use in your local church at acoffering.holston.org. There will also be a 5K run one mile walk to benefit the conference missions offering on Tuesday morning at 7.15. 
please pre-register by May 20th to help us be prepared. The cost is $10 for walkers and $20 for runners. The Change for Children offering will be received on Tuesday morning outside Stewart Auditorium between the hours of 8.30 and 10 a.m. This offering is used each year to fund grants for children's ministry throughout the conference and in Africa. This is an ongoing ministry that will continue to provide grants to our local churches for their ministries with children. On Wednesday afternoon, we will again offer an opportunity for hands-on mission service for those who are attending as part of our annual conference. Beginning at 1 p.m. at the Kern Youth Center, we will package 10,000 meals through Stop Hunger Now. 29 cents is all it costs to provide one meal. There is no pre-registration required to participate and all ages are welcomed although we do ask that children be accompanied by an adult. Please watch this video from one of our local congregations to learn more about Stop Hunger Now. Uh, the missions team uh, usually picks a Linton project every year. We build a well in uh, Sudan. We've done various things. And so we decided this year to try to do a hunger project. And we found out about Stop Hunger Now. And uh, so I researched it and saw that it was easy to do because only 29 cents could save, uh, feed a child uh, and help save lives. And so we felt that was very doable. Uh, this is Wesley Memorial United Methodist Church and we are packaging 15,000 uh, bags of food for uh, underprivileged and hungry friends around the world. And, uh, we're just having a good time and, and uh, looking forward to the sound of the gong every uh, about 10 minutes. Well, the gong show I used to watch means that they was running somebody off of the stage, but I think it's a good thing in this situation. The gong means that we've done another thousand bags of food. Another thousand people are gonna be fed. We service the 65 countries throughout the world. Uh, to schools and orphanages primarily to help not only break uh, end, uh, hunger, but to help break the cycle of poverty. Are you having fun? Yeah, it's better than doing green beans, I'll tell you that much. I'm a runner. I mean, I have to get them when they get done. I have to take the, the containers and take them over there to be sealed. Um, I am the rice man. I've been pouring the rice into the containers. Um, I am the hydrated vegetable girl. I've been pouring the hydrated vegetables in the containers. It's going to help many kids stop hunger and it's going to feed a whole lot of people. Yeah. I hear music, I got a game. <laughs> Are you packing bags? You're packing bags. Are these vitamins? Yes, they are. I'm warning up uh, and you put it down. These in the bucket, then I put it over there, and the people put it on uh, here. Kids are helping, um, and it, it's just wonderful to see this many people show up to do all of this work. We're doing filling bags for Stop Hunger Now. Helping feed the kids, right? Yeah. Yay, good job. <laughs> Pack the box. Stay ahead of those little guys. <laughs> They're fast. <laughs> and we'll be behind. I mean, it's really inspired me. I'm actually thinking about getting with my work to see if we can raise enough money to actually do this and hold this event at my work. It's, it's been really enlightening. <laughs> I'm pouring out rice. And we have uh, about 70 volunteers here today. And they range from age 5 to in their 90s. So it's a wonderful opportunity for people to serve and be in ministry. I'm loading the pallet. The last, the last one. Then we're going to ship it. We're going to wrap it with some cellophane here.
addition, this year we will have a potato drop through the Society of St. Andrew. This will also occur at 1 p.m. on Wednesday and will be held at the outdoor gym. The Society of St. Andrew works to feed local communities by gleaning produce that would otherwise go to waste. The Society of St. Andrew salvages tractor trailer loads of potatoes and other produce that are rejected by commercial markets or potato chip factories due to slight imperfections in size, shape, sugar content, or surface blemishes. Usually these rejected loads end up at local landfills. Through the Potato and Produce Project, the Society of St. Andrew is able to redirect these 43,000 pound loads of fresh, nutritious produce to food banks, soup kitchens, food pantries, low-income housing areas, local churches, and other hunger agencies for distribution to the poor. Because this produce is donated to us, the Society of St. Andrew pays only for the transportation and packaging of the food, an amazingly low 7.2 cents per pound. That means they can provide food to the nation's hungry for about 2.4 cents per serving. The potatoes that are packaged during our Wednesday afternoon crop drop will be distributed to agencies in the Waynesville area for distribution, a wonderful way for us to be in ministry with our neighbors while we are in North Carolina. For more information about the Society of St. Andrew, you may visit their website at endhunger.org. On Wednesday, following the morning session, we will be collecting donations at the doors of Stewart Auditorium and at the events sites to cover the costs related to these two mission projects. $10 is a suggested amount. However, any gift will help us meet our goals of feeding those who are hungry. Be sure to come by the Kern Youth Center at 1 p.m. on Wednesday afternoon to help package the meals as we help to stop hunger now or come to the outdoor gym at 1 p.m. on Wednesday to package potatoes through the Society of St. Andrew Potato Drop. You can participate or cheer on others. These opportunities are available to those who are attending annual conference. Children need to be accompanied by an adult. Our conference teaching time will also equip us to better know our neighbors and to organize for ministry with our communities in mind. Dr. Tom Bandy will be with us on Monday night and Tuesday morning. Using demographic materials and insights, he will lead us through a time of learning how to see who our neighbors really are, where our populations are located, and the characteristics of our communities. This has implications for the ways we organize for ministry in our local congregations, in our districts, and in our conference structure. He will provide tools for us to use as we look toward planning to be most effective and fruitful in future ministry. From Dr. Bandy, we will learn more how to see, know, and serve. Our conference business will allow us to hear updates from our ministry areas. We will recognize those who have completed participation in Leadership Holston, those who will receive the Denman Awards for Evangelism, those who are being licensed, commissioned, and ordained for ministry. We will hear from our conference institutions, including our Wesley Foundations and Conference Colleges, Holston Home and Asbury Place, and meet two new camp directors. We will learn about a matching grant that the conference has received from the National Plan for Hispanic Ministries that will open the door for new possibilities in clergy and lay leadership, youth ministries, and justice and advocacy. During annual conference, we will also elect our officers and leaders for the coming year. The nominations report is on pages 129 to 150 and we will approve our conference ministry budget, pages 81 to 110. The proposed 2016 conference budget is $9,711,542. The Holston Conference Council on Finance and Administration is seeking to maintain the high level of ministries while setting a budget that represents the funding level anticipated 
through our congregational tithes. CFNA is providing the line item request from all ministry areas for 2016. However, based on the collection history of the past several years, the proposed budget represents a 10% reduction of the submitted requests. On page 81, you will find the summary sheet of what is proposed for adoption at annual conference. The actual reductions for each section of the budget will be determined by the individual ministry teams as they determine the best way to use the available financial resources to fund their ministry area. If the tithe is fully contributed by all of our local congregations, the original budget requests would be funded. CFNA is committed to working with our local congregations to help us achieve this goal so that we can fulfill our conference, jurisdictional, and general church commitments in full. To assist with questions related to the budget, the Council on Finance and Administration, CFNA, will host a chat room on Tuesday of annual conference during the dinner break from 5 to 7 p.m. The chat room will be held in the Terrace Hotel in room 316 on the third floor. You may come and go as you like and ask your questions of CFNA during this time. Feel free to purchase a meal ticket and go through the line at the terrace and bring it with you so that you will have time to ask questions and listen to others who may also have questions. The Board of Pensions and Health Benefits continues to monitor the health care costs and insurance coverage to provide the best plan and premiums possible for our lay and clergy participants. The 2016 church portion of health insurance will be $8,085, which represents a 10% increase over 2015. Most significantly, there will be only two options for the health insurance program, a preferred provider organization, PPO, which is similar to the current middle plan, and a health savings account. All those on the current middle and high plans will be automatically rolled over to the new PPO plan unless they request to move to the HSA. The participant premium for the PPO will be a comparable to a 10% increase of the current middle plan. Details of the new plans and premiums are included in their report, which begins on page 159. The Commission on Equitable Compensation presents the recommendations for minimum salary levels each year for conference approval. The Commission is recommending a 2% increase to minimum salary levels for 2016. You may notice that there is no longer a minimum salary level for student pastors. These pastors will now be covered under the minimum salary level for local pastors. The report and recommendations are found in the Book of Reports beginning on page 38. This year there will be three resolutions for the annual conference and one petition for general conference that will be presented by the Committee on Petitions and Resolutions for conference consideration. Each of these will have recommendations from the committee for the annual conference. These items can be found beginning on page 200. Every four years, a significant portion of the annual conference session is spent electing those clergy and lay persons who will serve as the delegation from the Wholesome Conference to the upcoming General Conference and Jurisdictional Conference. The 2016 General Conference will be held in Portland, Oregon and the 2016 Southeastern Jurisdictional Conference will be held at Lake Junaluska. Holston will elect six clergy persons and six lay persons to serve as the general conference delegation. They will elect an additional six clergy persons and six lay persons who will join the general conference delegates to serve at the jurisdictional conference. There will be two more clergy and two more lay persons elected who will serve as the alternates for jurisdictional conference. The first two clergy and first two elected lay persons for the jurisdictional election will serve as the alternates 
for the general conference delegation. This is a total of 14 clergy and 14 laypersons to be elected. The clergy are elected by the clergy members who are eligible by the discipline to vote on these matters. This includes full elders, full deacons, associate members, provisional members, and local pastors who have completed the course of study or an MDiv degree and have served a minimum of two consecutive years under appointment immediately preceding the election. The lay delegates are elected by those persons serving as lay delegates to this year's annual conference. Those lay persons who have made themselves available for election are included in the book of reports beginning on page 211. The Board of Laity has certified that these persons are eligible to serve according to the disciplinary standards found in paragraph 36. There will be an opportunity for a meet and greet with these lay persons immediately after the laity session on Sunday afternoon under the tent between Stewart Auditorium and the Herald Center. This year, for the first time, we will be electing the delegations electronically. A keypad will be given to each voting member of the annual conference at registration and will be returned at the conclusion of the conference session. Instructions on how to use the keypads will be part of the orientation to the voting process on Monday morning. Basically, each person has an assigned numerical code which is entered on the keypad to cast a vote. Ballots will be held throughout the annual conference session when called by the bishop. Our time at annual conference is filled with many opportunities to learn about our shared ministries and the ways that we live out our call to discipleship. Please take time to read the book of reports so that you are prepared to enter fully into the annual conference sessions, especially if this is your first time to attend annual conference. You are encouraged to read through the orientation guide found on pages three to eight. During your time at annual conference, please visit the displays and Cokesbury Bookstore which will be in the Herald Center Auditorium next door to Stewart. A reporting guide for lay members is found at the back of the book to help you take notes so that you can better share about your experience with your home congregation. For those who are not attending annual conference, a live streaming link of the week's events will be available at ac.holston.org. Be sure to share this information with your home congregation so that they can join in the annual conference experience. The beautiful mountains of North Carolina will serve as our setting for annual conference. We will be renewed and challenged and return home to engage those around us with the love of Jesus Christ all because we have been engaged by the one who first loved us. We will be called to see, know, and serve our neighbors because we have been seen and known by the one who came as a servant to wash the disciples' feet and share with them his love. Please be in prayer for our time together that we may be strengthened and renewed for faithful service. May we be open to the one who seeks to engage us, that we may live into our mission to make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world.